Alright you guys, welcome back to another edition of Mail Call. Here we have a package, as always, from uh, my boo, Amazon. So, uh, free, same day shipping if you order before 12 o'clock, which uh, I love. So we're going to bust this thing open, cut it open, and let's see what's on the inside. We've actually got two figures in here, two elite figures that are on this bucket list that I still have to show you guys, so here we go. Alright, so the first item in here, well, they're both going to come out at once, I guess. We've got the Elite, I think it's 37. I could be wrong. No, this is definitely 37. And I just got D. Malenko as well. We got Stephanie McMahon over here, and the next one is from the... Hall of Fame Wave, another guy that has been out for a really long time that I've been meaning to get. We got Jimmy Hart in horrible condition. I don't know if someone gave this thing a power bomb or, or what the deal is, but pretty bad condition on the packaging. Luckily, I'm not keeping it in box. I'm just going to tear it open and make it worse. So we're going to be taking both of these people, this woman and dude, out of the packaging and do a little mini review as always. So. Let's do that. Taking a look at the megaphone, it has some hearts on it. It's white with uh, some red trim over here on the back. It's got hearts going all around it. A lot of cool detailing, a little bit of sculpting here on the end, but he can indeed hold it up to, oh my god, there go his glasses. And you see his arm, how it moves like that? Looks like it may not be, the arm may not be in the peg all the way, because that is not good. Uh, so that's kind of disappointing, but He's got the megaphone, he can hold it up to his mouth, and it looks like he's screaming. He's got some glasses, which, oh my god, what is wrong with this guy? He's like a mouse. The facial expression that he has perfectly suits him holding the megaphone up to his mouth. So I do like that. He's got a very interesting mullet here, the signature mullet that he still has to this day, which is, uh, it's, it's an interesting choice for hair, honestly. Yeah, I do like it, uh, minus the articulation, but there's not really much you can do with this guy. Still, though, pretty cool for photography and whatnot. So let's go ahead and take a closer look now at Stephanie. And here we've got Stephanie in her 2014 SummerSlam attire, so I'm just about two years late on this figure, basically. Uh, and she does come with two signs, and the way they package them, it's just, it's gonna get messed up and dented on the ends, and I really don't like that, but it says, it's Steph for business. There's one sign, and the other one says Steph, 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 mocking the Daniel Bryan logo, which I love. I think they were selling a shirt for a limited time. If, if it was up again, I'd probably get it, honestly. I love Stephanie. Here we go. We're going to take her out of her casing right now. And uh, this is something that I have actually... It's been available for a long time. I just never really picked it up. Taking a closer look at her face scan... Uh, I think it makes her look a little bit too young, but hearing that her and a couple other people have control of how their figures look, I don't deny that, and uh, I do see a resemblance to her. Just a younger version of her, not really the modern day Stephanie. Not that she looks old or anything, that's not what I'm implying here. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna move on from this. Her attire is really, really detailed with a lot of sculpting on it and no really big paint flaws that I can tell besides the leg over there, but everything is sculpted and it's really interesting. You don't see a lot of divas like this, Natalia being one that comes to mind. Even the zippers on the back are sculpted and painted really, really nicely. I'm really liking this, and then she's got some black boots on with some white trim, more details on the knees and the shins. This is a really cool figure. I, I really don't know why now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't get this any sooner, considering that might have even been Stephanie's last match. And it's a cool tire. It's it's really unique. It's very nicely uh, sculpted here on the figure, and I think they did it justice. Definitely worth what it was. I think I paid 21 for it total on Amazon once again. I love them. They are my life. Let's move on to something else. All right, you guys. Here we have another package here from Amazon, and inside of here we have probably the least exciting figure I think I've ever unboxed because it's it's a really random figure. Um, but I don't have it. I It was on sale actually for quite a lot. I think it was on sale for 15 I haven't had it in quite some time. So I thought, why the hell not? This would probably make good fodder anyways. We have the Elite 44. Uh, I think it's 44? 34? I have I think it's 34. I don't know why I said that. Uh, Bad News Barrett. Um, like I said, pretty boring figure. Nothing exciting about it really. 
Um, it's just, I haven't had it for quite some time, like I said. And the torso and the arms and, and whatnot, so if I get bored of it, uh, it will make actually some pretty good fodder as I'm trying to cut this open. I really don't care anymore. I don't know why I try to be fancy opening up my boxes, especially Mr. Barrett, who I don't think anybody cares about this figure. Probably one of the biggest shelf warmers, honestly. Um, so here we go. Who cares about that cape? Uh, the one thing I don't like about this figure is the ball joints they use. It gets pretty loose, so that kind of bothers me. Uh, I mean, it's a fine figure. Um, I kind of do miss Bad News Bear in the WWE, but he hasn't even wrestled yet, I don't think, anywhere else. So, uh, yeah, I was thinking about doing a fix-up with a basic version with the elbow pad and the wrist tape, but honestly, in two weeks, this will probably be a custom, so I don't even know why I try. Alright, so I can't remember what figure it was exactly, but I think a little while ago, I called something like the Redemption figure, because the first time I got it, and it wasn't good or something, but this is the actual Redemption figure, because the first time I got this, it was one of the only um, figures to actually break, I don't think on camera, but it broke as soon as I got it, so I already think you guys know which one I'm talking about, and... Um, I really like it's been cheap for a while and, and I just had such a bad first experience with it that I decided to wait a while until I got it again but now we're doing it and hopefully this time it's better because it is the elite I think it's 42 but I could be wrong Kalisto and I think a lot of people have agreed that this figure overall is just pretty disappointing head scan sits high on the neck the articulation isn't that great last time I got it the arm snapped off so I'm really hoping that this time it's better well, we got some good news. It is not broken, thankfully. In fact, this one is actually pretty good. The legs go out, I think, a little farther than I last remember. The torso is still not that great. Um, other than that, I mean, it's much better than when I last got it. I'm just happy it's not broken, honestly. And uh, it does look pretty cool with that mask on. It kind of covers the neck thing. Uh, so, yeah, I got this Kalisto. Pretty happy about it. I'm glad that uh, it is much better than the first time. And I will say that it did redeem itself, and uh, it's a little better than I expected. Um, I hope we get a new head scan, because this one, I mean, just it doesn't look like him to me, honestly. I just don't see that big of a resemblance. And he's got that draft neck, so hopefully they fix that. Uh, yeah, there's Kalisto. Here we have a package from Ringside Collectibles, and finally we have some newer figures on mail call. It seems like for the longest time I've just been getting... Uh, older figures so this is a basic and I uh, should have my Elite 45 I believe coming in soon I, I really hope so I feel like I've been waiting for those for like a really long time but nonetheless here is a basic I'm not sure what series this is particularly but uh, it is fairly new and it is the basic Apollo Crews if you guys remember a, a really long time ago I don't remember how long, but I made this custom because I was expecting to get a custom head and everything, but they announced the basic, so I waited on it, and uh, I wasn't that interested in getting it, but I saw it was cheaper. I think they had a Labor Day sale, so I decided to pick it up, and what we're going to be doing is swapping the parts, uh, so I guess I'll take them out of his packaging after we do it, but uh, when we swap in the head scans, I have... Uh, my Elite 45 Dudley Boys coming in, so I'm going to be using my Devon arms for the white wrist tape, uh, removing the logos and the tattoos on Devon. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how the custom looks. Here is the Apollo, and I really like how this looks. Um, I think it kind of does look a little blank without any of the tight designs on there, but I did remove them all. So maybe I might get a paint job done. I'm not really sure, though. Because uh, I kind of like playing with figures that don't have paint on them, so I don't have to worry about them chipping. But it was pretty simple. Just remove the tights, remove the tattoos on Devon's arms, and swap the parts. Of course, I swapped on the Devon arms, and then back the, uh, I think there were Biggie Langston hands, so I'm not 100% uh, sure. Here it is. I suggest if you want an Apollo Crews and you're too impatient waiting for an Elite, that you make this. Alright, you guys, here we have a package from eBay. We got two figures in here. Got another Undertaker figure. I've just been adding to this collection constantly, and I'll get into which one it is. And it's one that I've actually always wanted, but never had. So here we go. Can you already tell which one it is? Well, if you couldn't tell if Undertaker's in there or not, here we've got the Elite 20 Christian. As I need this to go along with my Edge, which should be somewhere around here, but I don't feel like looking for it right now. Maybe I will, but 
Here we go, we got the Elite 20 Christian. I'm looking for his shirt, which I know for a fact that I have. Uh, and yeah, so I finally have, for the first time ever, two uh, flashback or I'm sorry I finally have the flashback pair of Edge and Christian so that's gonna be awesome to put him with and here we've got the Elite Series 8 Undertaker which is an Undertaker that I've never owned with the red and white designs which is awesome and the uh, reason why I got this is because I need I kinda have this unintentional large Undertaker collection which I know I did a full collection video on a couple mail calls ago or maybe a while ago but I don't have really like a mid 2000s Undertaker. So what I'm going to be doing is cuz I don't really like this head scan is I'm going to be swapping the Paul Bearer version on. I was looking at some uh, mid to late 2000 pictures of Undertaker and I think this head scan works perfectly. So we're going to be swapping the two head scans and seeing how this fix up looks. All right you guys, before we get into the Undertaker fix up, I just want to show these two off because these two together look really great especially with the classic tag titles. Uh, love them both together. Um, I wish I could find Christian's shirt, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I also added some elbow pads onto Christian so he looks even better. Um, I think if they had accessories, they'd probably look totally complete, but even without, they look really awesome. Uh, Flashback Edge and Christian Tag Team, something I've wanted for a really long time uh, because I've, I, I've had this figure at least like three times or something. I only had this once and now I have them together and they just look freaking perfect. So I love these. Now let's get into the Undertaker fix up. Alright, so here we have the Undertaker fix up complete and I love it. I really do. I needed the mid to late 2000s uh, Taker and I think this works perfectly. Um, they had a, a version of this head scan a very long time ago with a different paint app. I think the paint was a lot lighter, but uh, the dark beard, the dark eyebrows, the dark hair, it all makes this head scan look way better, and I definitely dig it. It matches this era. It looks really good. Love the tight designs on this Undertaker a lot. Uh, I think if I threw some accessories on him, he'd look pretty amazing with the uh, cloth coat from the uh, WrestleMania 31 and the hat. So I'm digging this Undertaker, also a World Heavyweight Championship with that too. Uh, the Elite Eight might be my favorite um, tights version of Undertaker from this era. Looks really great, digging this fix up. Let me know if you guys think I should keep this head scan on or swap back on the other one. And with that being said, I think that's going to do it for this edition of Mail Call. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. We have new videos coming out very soon. So with that being said, stay tuned to the next one.